The hood won't stay up. That's so annoying. Let's fix it. The first thing we're gonna do is prop it up with something else. Removing these supports is really easy. On the top here, you'll see a little wire retainer and then a little notch. We take an angled pick like this, put it in the notch, and we'll pop up on that metal retainer. There we go. You can see it separating. Now this should be able to just pop off of its stud, just like that. Whoop. <laughs> my support, my auxiliary support is failing. Let me regroup. So that's it, it's as easy as that. I'm gonna put this one back. We're gonna start with the bottom, and having this in will just hold it in place for us. So now we'll come down right here. Now that we know the concept, we're gonna just fish our tool in here, find that notch, pop up. I know it's dark for you. And then we're just gonna pop this off of the stud. Let me try to set you up so I can use two hands. All right, let's try it again. So we're just gonna pop this off, get this off the stud. There we go. And just pull it out. And we lost our little retainer here. It fell somewhere, but that's okay. The new shock has its own retainers. So let me pop it off the top again. And that is it, we are done. Let's get our new one, install it. So there's a skinny end and a fat end. If you don't remember which one goes which, the skinny end goes on the bottom. So we'll just find that, fish it in, put it on the ball stud and it locks in place. Nice, now let's do the top. So for the top, we just slide it over the ball stud, just like this, here it snap. That's it, tug on it, perfect, we're done. We'll pull out our auxiliary support. Now let's close the hood and make sure it's working. Give her a good old fashioned close. Now let's open it. I guess I didn't need to close it all the way. Here we go. Nice. Thing of beauty. I love it. That's it. Repair complete.